hey guys welcome back so today's video i'm going to take you guys with me to buy what my family uses in a month hopefully i'm able to buy most of the things today so i have a list in my bag uche wrote a list for me even though i'm sure i'm certain everything is not on this list but we have a list here that we're going to be working with so just come along with me gifts is going to be vlogging and hopefully you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe i need to start reminding you guys at the beginning of every video now to subscribe okay don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because i know some of you are watching this video and you have not subscribed yet i do not know what i did to you but please i apologize just subscribe to the channel because this 100k will not hit itself this year anyways come on let's just get going from the first store um i normally don't buy a lot here there are just a few items i find here and also a few items i know are certainly cheaper here the ones i'm very certain about i buy from here even the milk i bought i didn't buy a lot because i wasn't sure about that so i'm still going to buy more milk in my next location and then buy every other thing so let's let's get going but before then okay so in total here i spent 30 plus 17 47 000. so i spent 47 000, but 17,500 it's already for the detergent so i use Persil. my favorite detergent ever um is the non-bio one so it's seventeen thousand, and this one should last us say two months plus ish they're about 17k maybe three months depending on usage and then um every other thing i bought was twenty nine thousand something yeah so that's the bill for the first location that's 47k put it on the screen and then let's get to that the next store is where i actually spend the most money i don't like going there anymore but <laughs> we have to eat
guys it's a few days later and i'm coming at you today to end this vlog so let me tell you guys what i realized right you know how like usually i buy my things from one store but sometimes i'll not go to another store to pick something up and i realize ah, ah this thing is one thousand naira cheaper i'll not start going to that store to buy that thing so like in this video you guys just watch i just wanted to point this particular thing out like pick milk right which is the milk that i use now for my kids in the first store i went it was four thousand naira i decided to just pick two because i wasn't sure we normally buy four for the month one per week like we don't use mm, some weeks it might be more or less depending on usage but usually like one per week but then i went to next and i realized that that milk was 37 in next right and then some other things like the oil i bought from that other store which i know is definitely cheaper there in next it was like 500 naira more expensive before it used to be a lot more actually i think this other store increased their price a little bit and then um what else some other things i bought i noticed that a lot of things i bought in that store they were actually like 400 and 500 naira cheaper than next the only thing that next was cheaper in was the pig milk so yeah, even the detergent, the detergent was also cheaper in the store that I bought it. That detergent is 7,000 naira or something. When I say isn't that detergent, it used to be like 8K or something like that. How am I saying 7,000? 17K something now, almost 18K. When I say isn't it, it used to be like 8K for the big carton. So I said that thing last was two and a half months, three months. Actually, it's three months or three and a half months. So it actually lasts a lot, even though we wash a lot in this house. Because we have washer and dryer. So it's like every time we just, sometimes I want to wear something, I see that I just wash and dry. So, um... We wash a lot in this house, but even that, even at that, it lasts us um, for a while. Point of this outro is that, you know, like there are differences. So if you want to save, like, say, 5K here and there, you know, you can choose to go to different stores. But for me, for the most part, it's not really worth it, even though I still do it. I know it's not worth it. I know that 5K, I beg, I beg, it's not pizza money, but I will still go to different stores because somehow in my head, I'm like, I beg, I beg, I do not want to dash people money that I don't have to dash people. But that's it for the house shopping. In next, I spent about 100 and I can't remember the exact amount now, but like I bought a lot of things I wanted from next and I withdrew 40k that day. That one is usually for market to buy meat and stuff like that. It's usually costs more. But another thing I don't do these days is, is overbuy. Like I don't do stocking up anymore because I beg, I beg, I will go and buy it when I need it. So I don't buy too much things. I will buy meat that will last us for like say two weeks and then I go and buy another fresh meat. That's just me. I'm not into all that overstocking my fridge and having too much things all the time because prices might go up. Eh, it goes up. We'll not kill ourselves. We'll still buy. So um, I just bought a few things I needed from the market. Indomie. I bought two cartons of Indomie. See, Indomie needs to sponsor my life. Who works? Do you people work, who works with Indomie? Or who knows somebody that works with Indomie? They need to sponsor my life. We eat so much Indomie in this house. So what I normally do is that I'll buy two cartons first. Now, that's what I do now. When that two cartons finishes, I'll not buy like another two. Because normally in a month, I actually buy three or four cartons of Indomie and it finishes. I don't know how my husband, like yesterday, I wanted to ask my husband what he wants for breakfast. I just, I was like, you know what, no need, because I know he was saying Indomie. So I just made plantain and potato for him. Like every single day, I asked my husband, what do you want for breakfast? Indomie, Indomie, Indomie. My husband is Indomie every day of the week. Oh my gosh. 
Anyways, and then Kobe likes Indomie as well, and I also like Indomie. We all like Indomie in this house. So I buy a lot, but when it's like when they are seeing a carton, when they are seeing four cartons stacked up, four cartons, everybody just eats Indomie like they don't have sense again. When it's cast, when it's two cartons, you know, mm, this two cartons is supposed to last for a long time. You kind of use it well. So now when it finishes, I'll buy it more. So point is, the money I spent now is not even all I spend in a month. Like now, I spent about 200 and something K total buying things that were supposed to use for the month of October. Then every other money I spend will now be as the day goes by. Like today, I already have some things to buy from the market and stuff like that. But that's it. That's my house shopping. That is what, or I don't even know the point of this video actually. That's just my house shopping. <laughs> that's content. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to do more shopping videos. Next week, I want to do how much I spend on myself in a week video. Like every single amount of money I spend on myself in a week not the one i spend on my family i would actually like to know that because i like myself i know my money will go on food i know it's food this week last week alone how much did i spend on food last week if i calculate last week i spent up to 100k on food like don't be like me it's not even good like i went out uh, uh, don't be like maybe not 100k maybe like 70 something or 80 something but it's a lot of money spent on food but i actually like to know how much i spend on myself in a week so i'm going to get you that video next and i want to do it in a very nice quick format i don't want it to be more than like five minutes I just want it to be nice and quick. So hopefully I do that for you guys. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and happy Independence Day to Nigeria. People like us are not leaving this country anytime. We're still here. We're going to make Nigeria work for us. Nigeria, please. I should turn 62 today. Is this 62 or 63? I don't, 62. I turn 62 today. Let this 62 bring, in fact, miracles into this country. Let it bring the goodness of God down to Nigeria. This 62 is going to bring good and not bad into this country. This 62. It's the year that Peter Obi will be our president in this country. And Nigeria will finally be on its way to getting better in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.